Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be running through BSC versus Crow or Kronos. So, we've had a lot, a lot of hype around the Kronos chain and a lot of people are asking, will BSC die? Will Kronos take over? And I'm just going to run through a few facts and figures. We're going to be using real data and I'm going to show you exactly what I think will happen over time. And the simple answer, if you don't want to watch this video, is BSC will not die. Kronos will probably not take over um, BSC in terms of trading volume and value. So what I'm going to start off with is looking at BNB. Now, the first thing I want to look at is circulating supply. So how many tokens are left? BNB had a much higher supply, um, but they have been burning over time. And I think the one thing that's key to Kronos' success is going to be lowering their supply. So we can look at trading volume is 1.8 billion um, with a 52 million trading volume. So it's a much, much smaller trading volume. There's less people actually trading it um, over time. And there are there is a huge number of supply. So a lot of people do argue that BNB's price was similar to this, you know, many like two, three years ago. It was much, much lower. In fact, 2017 was that time. So we're going to be waiting at least four years before it actually pumps up. If they do burn over time, if they do move to their own chain. However, the only thing that was really prevalent is they were backed by Binance. Now, Kronos is obviously backed by Crypto.com, which is a good thing. I think it has more legs than any other chain simply because they have backing of an exchange and or crypto app. And over time, I think the price will go up. I think it will take a few years and they need to lower the supply over time before they actually, you know, come close to BNB's price. I don't think there'll be a major chain like BNB, like Solana, like, you know, Ethereum. But I think they will be like, you know, top 10. They may hit the top 10 at some point. I may eat my words. I love Kronos. I hold a lot of Crow. Um, but I just think you know, with this sort of circulating supply in comparison to BNB, that will have to get lowered over time. They have to implement some sort of use case. They'll probably go down the NFT route, but we can look at how they're looking over time. It is looking pretty bullish. Um, this was actually a burn. Yeah. So this is when they actually burnt tokens. It wasn't, you know, anything to do with all oh, good marketing. They said, we're bringing out the chain and we're burning it, burning tokens. And literally, it's held a higher floor. So it doesn't matter that it's dumped. It's held a higher floor. It's brought more people into the network, more trading volume. All it needs is some incentive for people to hold. BNB people hold because they trade on Binance. Um, it's a good token overall that holds its value. Um, Kronos is still, it still feels really cheap to me. Like I've got thousands of Kronos in my wallet. Tens of thousands. It just feels like nothing. But actually... You know, at one stage it was like 50 cents. So I think with the utility of a lot of tokens, um, it will grow over time and it will start to do pretty, pretty well. Um, market cap is 10 billion in comparison to BNB's, you know, nearly 70 billion. So I think with the market, it will pump with it. So the other thing I want to look at is the total value locked. So how much is actually in the protocols, locked away in liquidity, everywhere else. This is what I want to look at. So the one thing I want to highlight is Kronos is a monthly gain is huge in comparison to most. BNB is also doing well. Um, but the total value locked is 13 billion for BNB and free. So it's about four times less. So if it forexes in comparison to BNB, then that means the price is only going to go up to close just under, you know, $2, um, depending on what the price is when it does start to move. So $2 is what I'm predicting, maybe, maybe $4, but I'm just plucking that out of thin air. Um, where BNB's value is likely to go much higher. Now that could change. This could obviously go up to 25 and then Kronos is obviously going to go up there. So people saying that unless the supply gets lowered, yeah, and a lot more people start to actually use and hold, it will never reach this price point just based on the supply. It's the same thing as Shiba Inu has um, with reaching the market cap that like, you know, 
flipping Bitcoin or going to one cent. It's never going to happen unless they take tokens out of supply. They destroy, burn, lock away in, you know, staking. I mean, Crow has a very good staking, but it's so inflationary that I'm staking a lot of Crow. I'm getting like five dollars a day, maybe more. And that's just circulating supply. That's just tokens that are going to be, you know, me selling, me holding. And there isn't much that they can do unless the supply. The key to it all, I keep saying, is lowering the supply. And the price is, I would say, stable at this kind of range, even in a sort of bearish you know, week we've had. I just think that Kronos reaching $2 is probably the price point I would put at it with this current supply if there are burns which i know they will be burning and um, if they can burn down to a you know maybe a billion i don't know if what their plans are i haven't looked into it but i think then yeah we can ha have a contender for valuable chronos and you know having a thousand crow now and just keeping it in your wallet seeing what happens staking it whatever um, will probably be beneficial for you so all in all just to summarize Kronos will never hit the price point at this unless there are burns. Um, the total, the growth of the chain is doing really well. I mean, it's took a little hit over the last few days. I was looking trading volume on MM Finance and it seems to be declining. So there's less people obviously trading it, but it's been a rough week. Um, but I'm expecting it to pick up over time and hopefully either hold its value or start to appreciate in value. And yeah. To answer the question, BNB will never die in comparison to Kronos. Not anytime soon. Not in the next three, four years anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, I'd love to hear your opinion as well. Take care.